This week on Night Cream Weekly, we start at one of our biggest contracts in Oster Hospital in Belfast doing a massive exterior roof clean. We get new offices in at Night Clean to house some of our office staff and with more vans breaking down every single week. I'm Shay and this is Night Clean Weekly episode number six. Morning guys, new week, new video. We are just here, it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, Simon's here with the wee Corsa. He is just bleeding the system on that, put a new coolant in it, and that is it. Ready to go out the door uh, for our new trade project. The only other things that need done are a few wee nickety bits, like the engine bay and stuff washed, but we'll get that sort of okay. All the teams head out this morning. We have another few boys in for trials today. Another, sorry, another one person in for a trial. And then we have a, a new starter. I don't really know what today's gonna entail. Trying our best to get a few more cars brought in for, for this project that we're doing with this car. But yeah, we'll bounce into the day and see what we've got to do. Uh, Shay here from Nightline. How's things? Not bad, not bad. Good, good. Yes. So I've just had a customer on the phone uh, from Ireland. We shipped a wee Westerman down to him two or three weeks ago. Um, he's on the phone saying that it's spinning one way, um, but won't, doesn't want to spin the other way when you're cleaning the moss off the tarmac. So that's Aaron on the phone. He's our supplier. Um, he's given me a few tips as to what to say to him, and I will just relay that back to him. As easy as that. Well, say, what is the story? Hey, ah, uh, nothing much. Tuesday. Ah, uh, Tuesday. Um, eight thousand watt. Uh, Lunkin generator. What oil does yeah. that run again? Sorry. Ordinary SAE thirty. Just ordinary lawnmower engine oil. Just SAE thirty. Uh, I'll hopefully have Simon down to you at some point today too, is that alright? What's the capacity of that? I don't worry, it's 100% Chief. Oh, that's okay. What, what's the capacity in them, do you know? Okay. No all stress, right. no stress. Thanks Chief. No Be safe, good luck. have a good day, bye. good luck, bye 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 bye. So, it's about 3 o'clock here at Night Clean. Uh, it's been a bit of a busy day actually, a bit of a weird one. It's been busy but nothing to film because I've just been on phone calls and getting a lot of other stuff sorted. Um, but anyway, we're here at the minute. Simon's on the course, so we're finishing touching up that. It's taking a wee bit longer than normal to get sorted, but we're getting there. Um, we're clearing a few codes with a few fuses that have went into it. And I'm going to work on getting the bird poo on the... There's a bad stain in the bonnet, so I'm going to be the first one to attempt it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I give that a good wee whack there to try and get that wee bird poo out. Um, I kind of want to involve all the the, 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 sh the crap parts of my day as well in these um, to give you a, a good oversight of what it's like running a business. I've kind of said that from day one, and then I've I've when a bad spells hit, I've just put the camera in and not I'm not videoed for the rest of the day. But I kind of need to start getting my finger at my backside and and just videoing that because they're the interesting bits. Um, but yeah, that, that, that didn't work at all, like at all. Uh, I've just left it. Um, full car has been buffed and that was the only bit that wouldn't come out, so we'll just leave it. It's okay, it's only a wee bird stain in the front of it. I've got Simon in here at the minute with a wee thermostat sensor to fit 
um, at the radiator and then that should be it, nearly ready to go. I've had word as well today that the caddy will be back at the, the end of this week. Um, so that's a really good bit of news we've got. And that's basically it. Don't really know what else I've got to do today. I'm going later on tonight to lift a computer so we can actually program this stuff, um, program sensors and kind of take, uh, read into the, the brains of, of cars and see what problems are when we get them. Um, which is what Simon is using at the minute and they're a great bit of kit so we're going to go and get one of them and I need to ring a few customers here today to get final payments off and they've paid the deposit but they'll be um, receiving, I'll be receiving stuff tomorrow and then shipping it off probably on Thursday but yeah I'm just going to bounce in here get a few payments off them folk and then that should be us nearly read up for today Hello Dennis how are you? How's things? Not too bad. Good, good. Dennis, I'll have your stuff being shipped off tomorrow. Right, I'll have to, to put the money in tomorrow then. What, uh, is it the exact same machine as the one I looked at the internet? Uh, yes, sir. The exact same. Well, put that money in the morning. When I see it, I will ring you and I'll pay you over the phone. No is stress. Hundred percent, right? Dennis. That's okay, sir. Thank you. No problem right. at all. Chat to you soon. Take care. Bye bye. So we're just out in the wee Vauxhall Corsa here. This is our first car that we're doing for the trade. Um, if you don't know what I mean by trade, it's probably been explained already. But we just fixed a few wee things in it there, a few wee um, fuses, and then we topped it back up with coolant, and we're just taking that wee drive here to make sure everything is okay before we flip this on to a dealer. Um, we don't we want to be as truthful and we want to be as make everybody as happy as possible so our aim here is to leave everything to dealers in a way that we would want stuff left to ourselves. Um, so yeah this wee car is a lovely driving wee bit of kit. Uh, if it wasn't a Vauxhall Astra I would a Vauxhall Porsche I'd probably drive it myself to be honest. But if it's it Simon. Suit me well. <laughs> but yeah, that's us. We're just heading back to the unit. We'll see what we can do with this, we'll probably just clean it up, give it a final hoover, and then it'll be ready to put out there on the WhatsApp group to our dealer clients. What is it that I have? Uh, sorry, what all is it that you have for me to lift? A dealer two. No bother. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. You've got a 390 and uh, that we acid joke. 398 and acid joke. I was actually in the, in the middle of texting you. Do you want, I can send these out the pallet and you'll have them in the bar. It'll only be 20 quid. We'll see if you're on. I do that, Cameron. I do that. Uh, That'll be smarter. Racing up and down the road. Oh, I know that would be smarter. I do that. You don't. No you don't have any GX two hundred with the rails on them in stock, have you? Uh, I actually have a new style GX two hundred with a rail. Uh, do you want me to watch that piece of photos of it? What's that? With some photos of it, and then I'll give you the nod because I've sold one there, so I'll uh, probably need another one on stock here. No, but I'll send you three photos here now. It'll be about I think it's about twenty quid cheaper than the standard one with the rail two. So I'll send you three photos here now. All right. Jeez, are you feeling all right doing something cheaper? <laughs> so no, that's okay. <laughs> no bother. That'll do. But flip her over. I'll give you the nod. Is that all right? All right. No, no bother. bother. Send you three photos here now. Thanks, Cameron. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye, bye. Not a very successful morning on hump day in Nightline. So it's Wednesday this morning. Um, I came in, we got a new computer last night for our van so we can read to see if there's any faults in them and our cars that we're bringing in. I plugged the Transit Custom into the computer and then team time started and I ran around the back to go and stand with the men to see what everybody was at today and when I come back, the van had locked itself. Um, so I've had to call a locksmith out here. He's out at the minute. He's going to obviously unlock the van for me, but just a freaking disaster. Just stupidity has brought me to this position. Our locksmith is working 
around the corner here on the van that I blocked the key in stupidly. We've just had a parcel arrive from Maxflow. It's a washer and a few other bits and bobs for a customer in England that we're going to get shipped off here today also. And uh, we're going to just keep a wee eye on the locksmith and try and raise my mood a bit because I'm very annoyed at myself for locking a frigging key in a van stupidly. a wee bit of rejigging to do today to the showroom we had a few other bits of kit that came in i just had to make sure everything was kind of in chronological order in terms of pressure washers and bowsers on one side and on, on gx d sitting beside each other um so yeah that's the showroom kind of laid out as best as i can think and yeah i'm pretty happy with how it's looking we're just missing a few gutter vac systems that are hopefully back in next week and then that'll fill the showroom back up again and make the place look really good. This is the one space for a bargain uh, vehicle, so mm -hmm. that's up to two and a half grand if there is any sort of Okay. Um, can you shoot me some of that stuff over an email? Is that okay also, sir? Yeah, absolutely. What's the best email address for you? Uh, office at nightclean.com. Office. It generally takes about 24, 48 hours to get the account set up. Yeah, today. brilliant. Thanks, sir. Chat to you soon. Thanks, Jake. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Okay, so that was uh, just Auto Trader that I was on the phone with there, um, trying to figure out different ways to get our branding of our vans out there um, to a lot more people. And we are currently working on through our both my list and Simon's list today. Uh, we've a few orders going out here today. Also, a nice little GX two hundred acid carry frame. And hopefully then we have a few customers calling in today to lift a few bits and bobs. But yeah, I'm going to batter on here, see how far we get through today and hope everything's smooth sailing. We're Thursday here, we're nearing the end of the day. Uh, Simon and Dad are out here working on a van that a customer's brought in that isn't working right. Um, they seem to have everything fairly sound now uh, see how they get on and then the day is nearly sorted that's good flow there but five o'clock here uh we had a really hectic day today this morning was a bit of a nightmare to be honest we had a team that broke down in the middle of belfast in one of the vans the power steering went the van conked out we had to send our own mechanic down to help sort them and he eventually got them on their way again. Um, they're at the job at the minute, I don't know if they've got it done or not, but they're there. We then had to make up a frame uh, for a team who are on a massive job in Belfast doing a commercial clean on a hospital. I'm um, going to let you, going to add in a few wee bits of info here from Dad and Jensen. Um, they're doing a big roof clean out there in Belfast, pressure washing this roof. Hey guys, uh, we're on a job here in the Ulster Hospital in Dundonald, so uh, we wanted to just make a wee quick video and let you see uh, the work that we're about to be doing. Obviously it's a commercial contract, uh, so it's this building called IWB right beside us. Absolutely massive roof, huge amounts of uh, plant on the roof and pipe work and all sorts of roof furniture. Uh, so what we're doing is we're lifting all the debris off the roof, we're pressure washing the roof down, lightly pressure washing the roof down and then we're applying a chemical treatment to the roof uh, that just kills all the biological growth and leaves the roof ready for a uh, treatment, a, a sort of a paint finish treatment we've been putting on the top of the Ashfield roof. We're up on the roof of IWB building at Dundonald Ulster Hospital. Just wanted to show you around just to let you see what we're doing. Uh, so we'll just uh, let you see the roof, let you see the condition of things right now. So we're going to remove all the debris, basically just manually brush it and shovel it up, take it out of the way, and then we will 
just gently pressure wash. We've got some reduced pressure on the machine, so we just turned them down a wee bit, wash the roof all down, out the gullies, so the roof's nice and clean, and then we will apply a chemical to the roof to keep the to kill the growth that's on the roof and keep it clean as long as is possible. We'll keep you updated with this job just as we go. It's massive. Uh, Jensen will have a wee uh, pan round there now and let you see just the size of it. But it's absolutely massive. Thanks for watching, guys. Down in Ulster Hospital in Dundonald, uh, we have David, Alan and Matthias set up here. That's who we're, we're going to have working the site down here for the next probably three or four weeks. What we're doing is they're cleaning the top of the roof here. Just where these here sort of tram tracks is, a big crane around the top of the building. So they're cleaning the whole flat flat roof here at the top. And they're taking all the debris down, so that's stones, dirt, moss, you name it. That's up here, bird carcasses and everything. So. Uh, no, they're going to be bagging all that stuff, taking it down out the way, and then they're going to be power hosing the roof. Once the roof's power hose, we're going to be adding a biocide chemical onto the roof, so that kills any biological growth, and it'll prevent any new biological growth happening. Uh, so once we've had the air down, then uh, that, that'll help boost the lifespan of this roof and keep everything nice and clean up here. So we're coming up absolutely amazing. The boys are doing a brilliant job. But Dab was just fabricating together a little slide along trolley so they could shovel the stones and the moss and stuff onto that and then push it round the roof. So that trolley's the actual framework that they're pushing that on is actually made for a wow, like a window cleaning crane that allows you to uh, access all areas of that building from the outside. So that's what he was doing earlier and the videos are here of that. We also, we won a shipping container forward slash office um, on the auction yesterday. So it'll be coming in in the next few weeks and going somewhere over there. Um, which will be used for an office for my mum and dad and then Jensen and our accountant will be in there too. I'll have the other office up in the shop for my stuff to do with Nike Nautical Seals and then obviously the product side of things. So we're doing a, a lot of rejigging here at the minute. Obviously the furniture that we brought in earlier that, set, that was brought back on the trailer is for sums for my office and then sums for this office here. So that's why we were bringing off furniture. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll move on to Friday and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it is Friday morning here at Nyclean. Uh We have a lot to get through today. Before we start, last night we went and seen the carry. Uh, it is looking fairly dismantled. But we should have it back for hoping Monday. Um, it's going to look so, so good. Uh, you can see some photos and videos here of it. Um, aye, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really, really smart. Secondly, we have to go up here today to Belfast. One of our vans broke down uh, yesterday. Uh, it's a bit of a disaster. We don't really know what's wrong with it. But we're heading up, me and Simon are heading up to get that sorted this morning. And then later on, we have our container hopefully landing from the auction, which we're turning into an office down in the car wash shed. And that's going to be absolutely great to, to get that down there. But we'll batter on with the day, see how things go, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So we're on our way down here to Belfast. Uh, we're probably, what time is it at the minute? It is nine o'clock. One of our vans broke down yesterday on site, so we're heading up here, me and Simon. We're going to try and fix it, or we will fix it, and then get it back to the workshop where we'll top it up with all the fluids that it needs. I think it's blue of pipe or blue something um, around the power steering fluid pump. So we're going to go down here, limp it home, get it fixed, limp it home, uh, and then head back to the office, and then we have a good wee bit to do today. <laughs>
Beautiful. So that is us sorted here with this van. Was a engine mount at the bottom had came loose and then the engine was rocking back and forward. I also then broke a power steering pipe, um, which is what the puddle was there. And yeah, the joys of running a 10 van fleet. But anyway, we are just going to head back here to site. Simon's just getting everything cleared up, and then we've a lot to do today, so. Yeah, we'll catch you on the road somewhere. Another problem. A uh, successful maybe five minutes of driving. Uh, the water pump doesn't seem to be pumping the coolant around the van. Nearly boiled herself. Any idea? What water pump from that separate pump and here you know. That's Very boring minutes later. It wouldn't be a Friday without endless, endless problems. Crack. The water pump. I don't know. So we're back on the road again here. Um, better cool down for a minute. And I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to try and cradle it home here. Uh, and then we'll see what what we're dealing with when we get back to the workshop. Oh, I'm up on here again. Are you? There's the way down the temperature again. It's bad. It's been up and down, up and down. So it's weird. I wonder would it be all right in this main road. All I'm thinking about is if she boils and you have to pull in. There's no hard shoulder here, like. Yeah, so it is far from pretty, but it's gonna do the job well. Uh, these are the new offices that we've put in here for the office guys, uh, mum and dad and Jensen and our accountant will be in here too, uh, most days of the week. I'll take you a walk around it once it's all cleaned up, but for this week's vlog, that's all you're gonna get to see. A nice rusty blue, uh, sorry, a bad rusty blue container. So that is us for another week here at Night Clean. Uh, that's everything sorted, and that's it. Gonna start into next week's vlog. Um, it's now Monday, and I'm out throwing this week's vlog, and that's it. Pretty, not a bad week last week. Again, hope this week goes a wee bit smoother, and Eamon's away there. You'll see that in next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, thanks a million for watching. Chat to you soon.